Hi, thanks for watching Peter's Food Adventures. And today, uh, I'm at my mom's house and we're gonna be making a spicy Georgian cabbage. So this is from the Republic of Georgia. Uh, when I was there recently, I fell in love with this cabbage and it's one of my favorite ways to make a pickled cabbage or marinated cabbage. It's easy to make, you need one of these big jars. If you don't have a glass jar like this, you can just use a big stainless steel pot to allow the marination to happen. Uh, one of the key things in this is you've got the beets. The beets give it the color and they give it some flavor and I like that you can eat them as well. It's not only about the cabbage. You got some spicy chili peppers. Uh, I add serrano pepper because I like it like extra spicy. These ones aren't that spicy. Garlic, celery, carrot. Uh, you can add some parsley uh, and really it's just done a bit differently than regular pickled cabbage. Uh, let's get the brine going. That's the first thing to get started. All right, so this, this is a pickling salt. So we're gonna add the salt in. Pickling has no iodine, so that way you've got a clearer brine, but it's up to you. And then you need some sugar. This will balance out the salt. And I'm gonna add some peppercorns in there. There's just the whole peppercorns. Some bay leaves. And the last thing is some vinegar. Now, if you're adding coriander, uh, this is where you would throw it in. Because I'm making the double recipe, I'm just gonna throw the coriander seeds into one of the glass jars. And so you'll have the coriander seed in there uh, and the brine will just be poured into that. That's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna bring this to a rolling boil. Uh, we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna prep the rest of the vegetables. All right, so to get started, you wanna cut the cabbage in half and cut the core out. You're cutting this into wedges. It's not even, um, because it falls apart. This is a smaller cabbage. I'm just gonna cut them in half like this. And they're gonna, gonna be marinating like that. Remember, cabbage is cabbage. It's gonna fall apart, it's layered. So that is gonna be okay. Cabbage is prepped and ready to go. Now, with the carrots, you're just gonna slice them and the exact same thing with the celery. So just thinly slice them because they're just gonna be pickled and you're gonna eat them. All right, so like I said, these aren't uh, super spicy uh, chili peppers. Uh, use whatever peppers you have and manage however spice you can handle. Remember, if you put the seeds in, it's gonna make it a lot more spicier. Some people don't use seeds. You can wear gloves while doing this because if you touch your eyes, you'll be crying. Okay, so same with the beets, right? There's different ways of cutting the beets. Now, some people will just cut them into circles and you can just kind of layer it that way. I find it's harder to eat that way. They're a little too big. So I'm gonna cut them into kind of small, small little, um, well, I don't know, soldiers or straw kind of pieces. That's kind of the pieces I got. And that, I find that's really easy then if you're gonna be eating them because it just pickles uh, and it's kind of easy on your fork. So the final thing is the garlic. Now this is, I like lots. So I put like a whole head of garlic, like minimum six. I mean, some of these are pretty big. Uh, that's okay, and I like to smash it. So when you smash it, it releases the flavor uh, more into the brine. Uh, the smaller ones I leave because I like the crunchiness of eating a small um, garlic when it's been pickled, but the big ones, I smash up in there. Okay, so now we're just gonna layer them. Now some of these are pretty big. This is probably more of a pot style. You can cut them down into smaller chunks and pieces if you want. That's not a problem. Entirely up to you. This is optional, not everyone does this. I've got uh, some cilantro coriander here or parsley. Entirely up to you if you wanna add it in or not. Uh, completely optional. All right, so what's left? Old school, just all gonna get thrown into a this is just a stainless steel bowl. You can use a pot, whatever you like. And the last of the garlic, these ones. All that's left now is to use the brine. Oh, forgot one. I'm just gonna scoop in this brine. This was the hot brine. It's now just kind of cooled down a little bit. It's still hot. Now you can do this, but you have to do it very carefully. Now, if you're using coriander seeds, don't forget to add them in. Now you can put them in the brine. I've made a second batch of brine because look, pickling, it's not a science. Cabbages are different sizes, carrots are different sizes. So uh, it's really easy to just use what you have. When using in a big um, stainless steel bowl like this, you just wanna cover it with a plate 
Now more water gets released, I probably put a bit too much in there, but now exactly the same way, this stays on uh, the countertop uh, for about three days until you're happy with it and then into the fridge it goes. And this is gonna stay room temperature for three days. So after three days, some people do it five to seven because they want some fermentation. You can do that as well. Uh, remember, if in doubt, throw it out. Anything with fermentation, make sure your bottles or your jars are sterilized and the kitchen's in a sterile environment. Otherwise, a couple days on the counter, you'll see the color of the cabbage and everything go like a nice deep red, and then you keep it in the fridge, and then you can enjoy it from there. So that's how you make uh, Georgian pickled cabbage, uh, nice and spicy, full of flavors. Uh, the recipe is going to be out on the website, so uh, hit like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.